So now that you are an entrepreneur, you're self-employed, you own your own business, you sell a product or a service, and you want to know how much should you charge? That is the probably the most common question when it comes to my waist B business classes and my doula business classes. So you have to look at the time that you're going to spend to make the product, the price that you are going to pay to get the tools, the equipment. You can also look out, look at how long it is going to take you to make the product or how long it's going to take you to complete the service. You can just divide the time hourly if you want to think of it that way, if you want to just look at how much do I want to get paid per hour, you can come up with your cost, your price that way, or you could just simply look at the value and not base it on the time that you spend to do the service or to create the product. You can be a low cost business or a high ticket business. Don't discount if you can't afford to because you have to remember unless you are a nonprofit or you're just doing the work as a volunteer, you want to make profit and if you don't make profit, you cannot stay in business. So you may want to compete with the big multinational companies or you want to compete with people on a lower level, you just have to really sit down and figure it out. But you don't want to charge a price that you don't feel comfortable with. So you can ask other people. Of course, if the price is too high and people are not purchasing it, you obviously have to lower the cost, whether that means take away, take away the value or take away the amount of time that you spend on whatever it is that you are selling. So when it comes to my doula training program, I do charge more than the average program, so that is because I give more of a value. It's more of a one-on-one -on -one contact access with me and, and continuing education is included. And when it comes to the waist beads, people also ask me how much do they feel like they should charge. Now, I've seen waist beads really low, and I've seen them to be as high as the, the most expensive one that I've seen was around $200. So, I'm sure that that included gemstones and some really type of durable string, I am assuming. But I remember seeing that online. So... I don't have my waist beads that expensive right now at the moment. But when it comes to selling my African waist beads, I often get people who have traveled to Africa to question me on the cost of my waist beads, which, which they're still not expensive, but they're not cheap as they are over in the continent. So people who are, you know, traveled or from the Caribbean islands or a country in Africa don't want to pay my price because over there on the street, they are cheaper. But you also have to look at the fact of if you want to go to that country and buy your waist beads, then get ready to spend thousands of dollars for that trip to buy your product. So you still have to take in mind the shipping, the travel, the value, the supply, the demand, and you also have to look at the time that it takes you to make the waist beads. So if it's taking you an hour to make the waist beads, I would imagine that you wouldn't charge a really low price and if you spend a lot on the supplies. So you have to figure everything in and be comfortable with your price. You speak your price, you say your price, and don't blink. Be confident 
and whatever you decide and go with it. If you feel like you're still struggling in your finances and you're doing a lot of work and you still feel like it's just not, you know, it's not paying off, it's not working, you're going to have to make some changes because you do want to make sure that you can feed yourself and you can take care of your family as a self-employed person. I do have waist speed classes, bending classes, advanced doula training classes for those who want to get more information on pricing, marketing, or anything as it relates to the womb wellness industry, whether it's waist beads or birth work. You can go to my website, craftswoman.com, send me a message, let me know if you have any questions. And maybe I can give you some answers via email or you probably just want to sign up, register for our next class.